And I'm telling you now, you call me brother. Don't you call me brother. How can you call the brother when you don't respect my woman? How in the world can you call the brother? When you can't even look me in my eyes, and I'm telling you, don't do it. Oh, me, brother. And don't forget about your sister. Don't. Ooh, you call me brother when you keep trying to rip me off. How in the world can you call me sister when we can't even sit down and have a good talk? So I'm telling you, oh, oh. Ooh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this place I call the mental house. With me, your host. Let me do this real quick. And this is the article taken from the Radar Online. Uh, and it's an article that really perturb me because you know it's like what happened to us we went from a people that loved one another that cared for one another that knew what we were up against and at least we tried to show love to each other and now it was just like an open mockery if you love your brother or if you love your sister or you don't want to harm or you tell the truth on oh, your brother or sister. What has happened besides the Tavistock Institute? And y'all should go back and look at that video. So you when you when we begin to wonder where these trends come from, how are these people getting crazy? It's all social engineering. Sigmund Freud was part of it. But look at uh at some do some research search on the Tavistock Institute. And see how they um, actually were a catalyst to a lot of the behavior that we display today. And it was only through their experiments to see just how low we would go. And as you can see, we've gone all the way to the bottom. It's a race to the bottom when it comes to black people. Um, and we are spiritually so far out of our nature. So far. And what brings me to this conversation is Tupac Shakur murder suspect, Keefe D, openly mocked police. And he did. He did. And he was so ignorant, he didn't even know the law. Because I saw him, saw him when somebody brought it to his attention that uh, he, he like, do you realize you can go to jail? He was like, uh, 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 what? No. Uh, 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 they ain't gonna do shit. And that's exactly what this article talks about. It said the, the notorious gangster in jail for Tupac Shakur's murder openly mocked and laughed behind their back, blindly believing that they ain't gonna do Jack before he was taken into custody. Radar Online has learned. As the outlet reported, Compton, 
Crip gang leader Keefe Davis was arrested and charged with on with murder. Law enforcement believes he was the ring leader of the 1996 execution of my man Tupac Amaro Shakur. Keefe boasted that he was in the Cadillac with three other passengers when an occupant opened fire on Tupac and Suge Knight, identifying his nephew Orlando Baby Lane Anderson as the alleged trigger man. And that was coming to look like that. That's not even true after all these years. Um, Keefe Lee openly mocked the prospect of justice for many years when he felt that the police were never, never, ever, ever, <coughs> never, ever, <coughs> ever, ever going to take action against him two decades after the killing. And he almost went into a hyperdrive, talking all kinds of crap and boasting about his role in his death. Yes, because every time I would see him on one of these, uh, 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 you know, podcasts, I would, my stomach would cringe. It would actually cringe. And for my baby... I, I just was like, oh my God, this is insane. Your day, your justice will be served. Don't worry about it, little brother. Your justice will be served. Orlando Anderson is was believed, um, you know, to be the shooter. But according to his uncle, the bullets came from a Glock that um, he provided. The insider claimed that KPD tried to organize limo tours of the Sin City Strip where he'd take paying customers to the historic intersection and give them details about the moments the bullets ravaged the vehicle, uh, the rapper's vehicle. Now look how low we say. That's what I mean. How low can you go? So he tried to monetize, well, he capitalized on the murder of his brother. Huh. And y'all want to know why I say we are so messed up from slavery. We are so sick uh, because now we are so easily orchestrated down a path of unrighteousness and just degradation and filth. And we so easily led down those paths when we were once such a proud and spiritual people. And that's what we had upon everything and everyone was our spirituality. I didn't say religion, you noticed. I said all the indigenous, the ability to dance for rain, the ability to uh, beat the drum, the ability to just love humanity. And now we become the same people that the wild, wild west in, uh, folks introduced us to. We become that group that nobody care about doing away with. Hell, because we do away with ourselves. Why should they? He'd be at parties and events and enjoying the limelight, being considered a man who knew the secrets of how Tupac passed away. Look, look at this bitch. Oops. When people would ask if he had Fears of police taking action. Keefe would say, the police ain't going to do Jack. Just another black man dead, right? When you got crunched. Because you were too bold. You were too insulting, not only to his family members and everybody who loved him. How dare you? 
How dare you? Because it, don't call no me brother or sister. I don't want to hear it, please. I don't want to hear it. You doing that while you counting what I got so you can stab me in the back? Keefe D, it was Keefe D's foolish attitude and his lack of knowledge of the law and his surefire ignorance that got him into trouble, charged the source. RadarOnline.com exclusively revealed that Keefe D spilled all the details about the night Tupac was gunned down because he believed that he could never be charged for his involvement. Ha, ha, ha. The insider allegedly it was his big mouth that landed him behind bars. Absolutely. And for all of y'all saying, you know, it's 20-something years ago, uh, and all that, forget about it, it's, no. No. God's word don't come back, boy, and the truth endures forever. And if that's the case, then we have no claim on white people to ask them to to tell them or demand of them that we want a restoration for the crimes and brutality that they did and committed against us. That's no conversation, according to y'all. You're so damn mixed up, you don't know what you want. Not, of course, us in the mental house, but those of us who are outside that subculture that subculture that says things like this and don't think how valuable and important that their words are. I don't give a damn about KPD. I really don't. I don't give a damn about him. And he's going to spend the rest of his life in jail for, you know what, something like that? For something like that? No, you took you take like 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 we did when we came up. We took took our ass whooping and kept going. They gotta come back and assassinate somebody. Y'all just so damn weak. Anyway, with that being said, I want to know what y'all think about it. What y'all think about uh, uh, Keefe D and being punished and actually having to pay the piper for his. Involvement in Tupac's word. What you think? What you think? Think you should be let go? Think we should just forget about it? I wish. All right. I'll see you in the next video.